Plants and buildings. What are their similarities or their differences? They both are confined to a specific location. They cannot run like us from harsh weather. But as an architect, I see they both have walls, roofs, shelves, skin, if you will, to protect them. And what they have inside from exterior environment, from heat, moisture, and all other constantly varying factors that they have. To adjust to this changing environment, plant and building have totally different strategies. In nature, nature has highly effective adaption system, which through their size, orientation, and shape can change in response to environment. Uh, think about pine cone or um, leaf stoma. Oh, they open up and close to survive. But the functions of building skins for centuries have remained as passive static barrier. It cannot regulate the amount of sunlight or air that comes in and goes out. Instead, we use excessive amounts of energy to operate mechanical electrical system for heating, cooling, ventilation. The result? 50% of all energy we use we produce in the U.S. is consumed by the buildings. We are paying $326 billion per year. And you know that half of this amount is enough to end war hunger. Is it possible to create building schemes with more dynamic, self-regulating capability? Not in 60s, when architects propose adaptive architecture as a solution. But now, advances in um, computational design, fabrication, material science are creating new possibilities. Our research is bringing these new possibilities to the world of architecture. We create and program composite surfaces that can recognize the change in temperature and change the shape in response by using smart materials. These materials are modified at molecular level, so they can react to external stimuli. We bring this effect to microscale of our surfaces. The base material of our composite is made of wood, sustainable, traditional, commonly used in architecture, like a plant that can adjust itself to environment.